You! Stop! Stop, stop! And sure, why should I be doing that when there's people inside waiting to be served? I said stop! Oh, so it's to be like that then, is it? I will put a musket ball through your eye if you do not obey my command! Really? With all these people here watching? Each one a witness that will testify in open court that you murdered me in cold blood. General Lake's proclamation gives me the authority to maintain law and order any way I see fit. Yes, that I already know. Pitch cappings, floggings, torture and hangings. General Lake sure knows how to win a country over. Necessary measures to clamp down on the United Irish men. And that soldier is where your general made the mistake. For instead of stopping an insurrection with his brutal methods, he is actually about to start one. Good. Because I want to face the United Irishmen in battle. Because rest assured, if they are stupid enough to raise weapons against the Crown, they will be slaughtered in their thousands. Your arrogance is an example of what is wrong with this country. Not arrogance, but confidence. For I deal in reality, whilst the United Irishmen deal in rhetoric. The principles of liberty, equality and fraternity are not rhetoric. They are a promise of what the future might hold. I will tell you what the future will hold. Death, death and more death. Yes, but it might be your soldier, not the other way around. Spoken like someone who supports these rebels. Or indeed, is a rebel herself. Me? A rebel? Has Lucifer infected your brain, sir? In case you haven't noticed, I am an employee of Kelly Sellers. I am rushed off my feet all day serving people the devil's brew. The only skullduggery I get up to is sneaking a snifter of whiskey when the boss isn't watching. I'm not stupid. I know the United Irish men have been having meetings here. We have been told so on numerous occasions. Thomas Russell, Roddy McCourty, William Drennan, and Wolf Tone himself have all been here. Who told you such nonsense? A reliable informant that obviously I shall not name, but his word has led to arrest in the past. Is this the same informant that testified against William Orr? Because everyone knows that Orr was innocent and Wheatley perjured himself in the dock. You sound like a sympathiser. No, but I do have decency running through my veins. Should didn't the judge himself shed tears when he sentenced Orr to death? Orr was executed to deter others from issuing the United Irish men oath. Judicial murder, sir! That's what it was! Pure and simple! My informant is reliable. Well, on this occasion, your tattletale is wrong. The United Irish men do not meet here and have never met here. That is a falsehood spread by people with idle tongues. Do you take me for a fool, woman? Well, if you're to believe every rumour that floats up the legging, then my answer has to be yes. I mean, if I was to guess, I'd say your brain is probably smaller than a dog's. I'd curb my tongue if I was you. Unless, of course, you want to squeal like a dog on my back. I know who you are. That is not possible. I'm from County Wicklow, and this is the first time I've been stationed in Belfast. Yes, but your reputation for brutality and cruelty precedes you, sir. You are Lieutenant Edward Heppenstall, the walking gallows. I would lower that finger if I was you. Unless, of course, you want me to wrap my corvette around your neck and swing you onto my back. You must be in league with the devil, sir, to carry out such an horrendous act. No, it is United Irish men that cavort with evil spirits. I am simply an instrument of the law. You are the murderer of my rove, sir. The beast that hung two young men on his back. They were rebels and deserved to die. No, you are the one that deserves to die. For you are surely a demon. But know this, Lieutenant happened still. The Lord above knows, and on the day of judgment, 
his paradise will be closed to you, and your soul will be condemned to the fires of hell for eternity. I am not the religious type, but my patience is running thin. So if you care to draw another breath, then I suggest you step aside. I'm sure your mother would be proud to see what a fine son she has raised. Move out of the way now, or this will end with your blood decorating the outside of this tavern. May God have mercy on your soul, Lieutenant Heppenstall, because surely Satan has reserved a seat for you at his feet. Jiggery, piggery, hocus pocus. It's all nonsense. But what isn't nonsense is the fact that Henry Joy McCracken is inside that bar right now. And if you don't get out of the way, I'm going to blow a big, ugly hole right in the middle of your forehead. Move! wasn't in there. Maybe not this time, but trust me, long runs the fox. We'll catch him eventually, and when we do, we'll make an example out of him and hang him publicly from the gallows. Henry Joy, you can come out now. He's gone.